Hi everyone, it's me Beatty Kelly Sunflower. So I'm on today to do an unboxing, flip through and first impressions of this gorgeous tarot deck that arrived today and it's called the Black Femme Tarot created by Letitia Shelton and illustrated by Roberta Rodriguez. Um, this is the Certificate of Authenticity um, and it says that I was 420 out of 1000 copies. And it also came with a sticker. So let's turn the box around and read what it says at the back of the box. The Black Femme Tarot is a modern take on the classic RWS Tarot with a big difference. All individuals depicted are Black Femmes. Each card showcases a bright, rich colour palette with modern yet eye-catching cartoon style. Because tarot is meant to be fun, enjoy the diverse imagery and LGBTQIA representation as you dive into the world of tarot through a new lens. And it's just got the Black Femme Tarot there and Luminati, which is the name of the person that created it. I think that's Letitia Shelton. So it's got a nice magnetic box. The epitome of being a black femme is being able to glow unconsciously and given a young black femme permission to glow by seeing me at Maya Butler. So let's take these cards out. Oh, look at these. So before we go through these delicious cards, Let's have a look at the guidebook that it come with. So um, this is the mini guidebook. I do believe that there was, there might be a bigger guidebook coming up or there was opportunity to request a bigger guidebook if I can remember in the Kickstarter campaign. So this guidebook is 75 pages long. And it says here, conceptualized and designed by Letitia Shelton, illustrated by Robert. Oh, my tongue is twisted. <laughs> illustrated by Roberta Rodriguez. So it's got the acknowledgements here. Thank you, my community of Facebook friends, for love, support, and inspiration to create the femmes in this deck. Thank you to my new found Instagram tarot community for accepting my project with open arms and helping get my Kickstarter funded. Thank you to Roberta for collaborating with me to create this deck. Her artistry and dedication made this deck what it is. Thank you, Gaia, for designing the Kickstarter project page and graphics. Thanks to my friends, Brianna and Ngozi, for always keeping me calm and motivated in the tarot group chat when I hit bumps in the process. Thank you to Lauren and... Narata, who took the dis discombulated ideas for a mini guidebook and turned it into a masterpiece you are holding right now. I couldn't have done it on my own. Thank you to my partner, Ashley, for looking over each card, making the hard cr critiques and forcing me to take breaks and drink water when needed. Laugh out loud. Lastly, thank you to all 368 Kickstarter backers that made this deck possible. I hope it exceeds your expectations. Thank you. That's very sweet. And I have spent many years creating and recreating what feels like an authentic me. Being fat, dark skinned and black, I hope I have constantly been at war with society and it's deceptive of who it thinks I should be. I wouldn't describe Letitia as dark skin though, but then dark skin is open to interpretation, I guess. But my power doesn't come from outside influences. I have finally accepted the space of just being. I am exactly who I am meant to be at, in this moment. I am great because I am great. I think that's supposed to be period. You are great because you are great, period. It is an honour to be a black femme. And this is by Dominique Pollard Adams, 2022. So the table of contents... It's really nicely written. I, I like the font and just the way it's presented. So it's got um, introduction and the page, tarot um, FAQs, numerology of tarot, major arcana, 
minor arcana but it talks about the, each of the suits it talks about the wands cups swords and pen, pentacles and then the bonus cards so tarot faq the black femme tarot is an 82 card tarot deck with four additional cards added to the on to the classic tarot system of 78 cards the deck follows traditional rider weight smith symbolism and structure which makes it a great choice for tarot newbies to learn the ropes while modern twists and detailed iconography ensures that each pro will find something refreshing and new in this everyday use deck. The Black Femme Tarot cheerfully colourful art breathes life into sometimes dreary depositions of traditional tarot and gives a modern update each card shows a bright, rich colour palette with a modern yet eye-catching cartoon style because it's meant to be fun. The major arcana is colour-coded by card. The minor arcana is colour-coded to suit. Peachy orange for the fiery wands, baby blue for the emotional cups, lilac purple for the truth-seeking swords and mossy green for the earthy pentacles. One of the unique features of this deck is the broad spectrum of individuals represented in the cards. F follow along as black femmes with a diverse range of skin tones, body types, orientations and relationship dynamics move through all stages of life. The black femme tarot is not just for melanated buyers, it can be added to anyone's deck collection to be used for queer femme, people of colour, clearance, so they so they can deeper connect to your reading. I like the idea that she's put that there because sometimes people are too scared to um, read a melanated deck just in case they're offending people. That so if a person of colour can read a white deck, why can't um, a white person read a melanated deck? That's how I see that situation. In this mini guidebook, you will find the most relevant information needed to understand the tarot. Easy to understand descriptions of the card upright versus reverse and a simple yes no for quick one card pause. Okay, so um, then she talks about the bonus cards um, and stuff. So if there's four bonus cards, it's trust the message, spirit guides, soul tribe, your person. It talks a bit about the major arcana, the minor arcana. And then it goes into each suit and gives like a little blurb. So for example, the wands are fire, passion, energy and inspiration. The swords are air, intellect, communication and thoughts. The cups are water, intuition, emotions and creativity. The pentacles are earth, finances, material, possessions and career. Then she talks about the court cards. Um, consists of pages, knights, queens, kings, and are thought to often represent the personality of the person being read by the tarot. Court cards can also represent the people of energy surrounding the situation of the reading. So pages are about beginnings, desires, student, learner, knights, action, change, conquering, queens, fruition, nurturance, creativity, and kings, mastery, leadership, and authority. Then she gives a bit of notes here about reversals. Many tarot card readers consider reversals in a spread because it gives added layer of meaning to their interpretation. I personally think reversals are very useful, which is why I've included reverse descriptions for each card. Reversals are, he are helpful, especially for in-depth readings and times where you need to get to the heart of the situation. Not every reader uses them, though. So it's ultimately up to you. Let your intuition guide you. A reversal happens when you pull a card and it's upside down where the image is reversed. Reversals can tell you when the energy of a card is blocked over an underused, directed intentionally or even when its shadow energy is present. See, there's a whole lot of kind of different perspectives with reversals. I actually agree with Letitia's view. Some people shuffle the deck and turn the cards around and put the reversals in the deck which is okay but I personally do read reversals and I think that if if the card is naturally reversed in a shuffle then it should be read but that's just my own personal perspective the numerology of tarot numerology is the study of numbers and their spiritual significance in people's lives 
Having a basic understanding of numerology can be very helpful when learning to interpret tarot. Each number card, 0 through to 10, represents a particular type of energy. Double digit numbers are added together to become a single again. Think of it as breaking down the number to get to its core meaning. If you draw temperance, for example, who is associated with number 14, you add 1 and 4 to get the number 5. It is good to pay attention to the numbers connected to the major arcana since it can add another layer of meaning to your understanding of a card. Don't forget to look out for the for the order of the suits in the minor arcana too. Cards are connected across the suits through their numbers. For example, the number five represents movement and change and each five in the suits of wands, swords or cups and pentacles relate to, in some way to challenges or change that require doing something differently. All ones relate to newness of a situation. All tens relate to completion etc and then she kind of breaks down just gives you like a little blurb about each number so naught is endless possibilities and luck one is new beginnings potential and inspiration two is uni union duality and choices three creativity expression and collaboration four stability manifestation foundations five change conflict and fluctuation six harmony cooperation and adjustment Seven, reflection, knowledge and assessment. Eight, mastery, achievement, rebirth. Nine, performant, to transition, attainment. Ten, complete, completion, end of a cycle and renewal. My tongue is very twisted today. So, the major arcana. The major arcana can be thought as the foundation of the tarot because it depicts the big themes of life that are universal to us all, like falling in love, self-sabotaging or dealing with sudden change. It is helpful to think of it as a story which, deal, which details eager, wide-eyed journey of the four, the first card, all the way to the enlightenment and fulfillment of the world, last card. When a major arcana card appears in a spread, it's, it is telling you something about your own story, especially longer term events, changes with lasting effects or the underlying energy of a situation. Think of the big picture. And then it just gives you some examples there. Okay, so for example, with the four, it's a yes in a yes, no question. It's got like, you know, new beginnings innocent spontaneous like keywords lack of direction um how how are your actions or lack of actions affecting your path and those around you um what is the reverse meanings oh if it's reversed okay so let's start again so if it's upright it's yes and if it's reversed it's no and lack of direction and recklessness is the reverse meaning and then above it gives you the upright meaning. So for each card, it gives you whether it's a yes or no. And the um, a blurb about each card, upright or reversed. So it's kind of like, I, I like the way that it's written and, and, and how, how colourful it is. It's kind of eye-catching. So this is the kind of layout for each of the major arcanas. So let's have a look at the minor arcana and see how that is laid out. So the minor arcana is 56 cards organised into four different um, suits or elements and so it just, get, it just gives a description of the minor arcana and their suits and then each suit is kind of separated so the suit of wands is to do with fire and it's around Aries, Leo or Sagittarius and then it um, just again gives you upright and reverse meanings. I don't see, yes and it's got yes, no on there as well. So it's a really nicely laid out little guidebook. I, I really like it. Especially for me, I'm a person that I, I, I do like pictorial kind of um, guidebooks. Then she talks about the ad additional cards. So these four additional cards are created to bring some illuminator flavour to the deck and help you dive even deeper into your reading. They were conceptualised by your, yours truly and are made with some very straightforward guidance to support you in trusting your intuition. So, um, 
the first card is tr um, trust message, the trust message card. Um, and it gives you yes, no answer and, and a blurb about each one. And then there's soul tribe, spirit guides, your person. So that's it. So it's a really nice little guidebook. Um, I quite enjoy flipping through that actually. So let's have a look at the cards. Look at that out edging. Isn't that gorgeous? It's really kind of shiny and glittery and that's really nice. Um, the card stock is, is matte. Um, they look quite flexible, so I'm sure that a riffle shuffler will appreciate this. Let's look at the cards in terms of size. So if I compare it to my a Barano weight, which is the size of a regular Rider Waite Smith deck, it's exactly the same size. Um, they, the cards look like they're reversible and it's got the affinity um, with all the suits. So you've got the wands, the swords, the cups and the pentacles. Beautiful. And then the clouds and extra bits, hearts and stars and etc, etc. So let's have a look at the cards. So you've got the four. Um, and you know they've got you got the zero on the archetypes t-shirt or t-shirt dress she's wearing trainers or he she or he's wearing trainers and then you know they've got the one there they've got the lily the sun and it looks like she's going over a cliff in a building the magician i love you know all, the way that all the body types are kind of shown this person's embrace in their body size so she's got the affinity above her head and all the tools in her um, backpack. You know, jack of all trades kind of thing. And I love the fact as well that this person's got like a aesthetic leg. So this is kind of diverse in terms of um, including disability as well as body image. And I like that. The High Priestess, you've got the pomegranates in the background. You've got the moon. You know, you've got the two pillars. Light. I don't know if it's clear on the camera. One is light. One is um, lighter than the other. And a crystal ball for the knowledge instead of a book, but it still works. So the empress is pregnant, and she's in her beautiful garden, relaxing there, soaking up the nature of her back garden or backyard. I love how the emperor um, is in. You know, it's got the ram horns to embrace Aries. Oh, look at that. It's got the ankh for the key of life. The globe there. And there all seems to be office buildings. But this person looks like a very kind of business-like person, you know, dressed in corporate clothing and stuff like that. The Hierophant and there's the pupils. These cards feel lovely. The Lovers. The chariot and motorbikes. It looks like it's quite a city kind of deck because so far all, all of the environment seems to be like the city. The lion. And I like the way that, that this psychotype is actually embracing the, the lion rather than forcing the lion to open their mouth because that's how a lot of strength cards look. It's beautiful. And even the hair is kind of like lionesses you know nice golden kind of hair full hair the hermit i love that that, that it's got the rider weight hermit in as a wall painting you know um so it looks like that person's trying to embody the card you know it's like a winter's night they look nice and cozy and they're just enjoying that time alone to contemplate and i also like that the person's got a laptop so they're not fully disconnected from the world that they're still getting the information that they need even though they are alone so you've got the wheel of fortune justice beautiful archetype the hanged femme oh i love this death card i, I think it got changed um if i can remember on the kickstart campaign 
but this is beautiful. It's even got like light, light and dark. So you can use that as shadow stuff if you like. The skeletal bit being the shadow self of the moon. And then the bright side with the sun and stuff. It's beautiful. So you've got the temperance. I love the, I love the way that she's kind of testing that water with, with her tiptoe. The devil. Tower. The star. The moon. Look at the face in the moon, it's beautiful. The sun. <laughs> I love how she's put um, sunflowers on her breasts. It's beautiful. Judgment and the world. The cards are also very easy to turn over. Sometimes when you get like a new deck, they can be a bit stickish, sticky at first, but these ones seem to be turning over quite nicely. So we're now into the suit of wands and as the teacher said in her guidebook, they're colour coded. So for the suit of wands, they're like this lovely peachy colour. Look at those nails. Beautiful. So it's handing over the olive branch. So the pictures are kind of like very wide awake inspired. So that's setting up that foundation. It's beautiful. Five of wands. It's like this person's given a speech, you know. Um, and receiving a cup for their victory. It's beautiful. Again, I like the way that, that, that disability is embraced in this deck. And I like the way that they put a, a, a car there to depict the, you know, the fast movement. Ten of ones. So moving on to the court cards, you've got the page the knight, the queen, beautiful, look at that black hat, <laughs> even, even, this, even the slippers are kind of nice and fluffy, or the shoes, and the king. So moving on to the suit of cups, which is kind of baby blue, look at that, this looks like a, um, I don't know what drink this is. Is it an ice cream? I'm not sure. But even the clouds are nice and baby pink. So you've got the two of cups. It's like these people are going on a date. Look at that. Having a nice time at a rave or a party. And even the spotlights look like kind of cups, upside down cups to me. Four of Cups, this person is saying nope, nope. Five of Cups. And I love the fact that the water is also kind of like a nice baby blue. Look at this, it's got all the, all the childhood memories or the family memories on the walls on, in pictures. Look at the choices in those cups for the Seven of Cups. I don't know what this is called, but a lot of um, Turkish people have these in their earrings and jewellery. Books, you know, snakes, love, holiday, cash. Really nice modern choices. This is walking away from the emotional situation. And it looks like the person's tried. Nine of Cups. These look like trophies, don't they? Trophies of achievement. And Ten of Cups. The family card. So moving on to the court cards, you've got the Page, the Knight, the Queen, and the King. So the suit of swords is this nice like, kind of like lilac colour. 
crystal in the sword. Beautiful. Oh, look at that blood. And even the blood looks like it's stale, you know, so it's, you know, so that could be saying, you know, this is old stuff, try, you know, try and heal and come out of this situation. Four of Swords. Five of Swords. Six. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. And Ten of Swords. Moving on to the Court cards, you've got the Page. The Knight, which is in the car. The Queen of Swords. And the King of Swords. So moving on to the suit of pentacles. You've got the ace. Got the green now varnish on that. Beautiful. The two of pentacles. This is um, like a olive kind of green. The three of pentacles. So it's, like, it's like a photo shoot. I love the detail, even though it's it's kind of plain, but look at the shoes, beautiful. In fact, the shoes are very prominent in this deck. I don't know if the creator is a shoe person, but all the shoes are prominent, or detailed, I should say. Six of Pentacles, seven, eight, trying to perfect their skill. Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles. This is like a generation of family. So you've got the Page, Knight, Queen and the King of Pentacles. When you, you, this is the four extra cards that um, come with the deck. So you've got the Soul Tribe. Trust the message, which is more like an intuitive card. You can see they're reading tarot cards there. Spirit Guide, so that's like the person's altar. And your person. This deck is just sublime. Let me just give the cards a shuffle to see how they shuffle. Look at that edging. Can you hear that click, 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 click? They shuffle really nice. Oh dear, two cards have fallen out, which I'm going to use. Oh, that's the page of ones reverse. Judgment and the world. Maybe that's a message for me. So I look at those cards privately after we split through. So the Black Femme Tarot. What do I think of this deck? I really like it. Um, I wish that there was a bit more matured people though in there. But it's it's very modern. And modern does tend to be young. Um, I love the, the details of the shoes because I'm a shoe person myself. I do like shoes. Um, there, there seems to be a lot of office buildings. So that to me represents like urban kind of areas. This deck will be good for a beginner, especially the guidebook, because it's just kind of basically written with no waffle, which I like. I, I like a book that you can just get into it and there's no waffle. But then also um, a seasoned reader who likes um, modern cards would also appreciate this deck too. You know, it is Rider Waite Smith inspired and it's just a beautiful deck to have in my collection. I think this deck is available on pre-order. Um, if I can find it, I will add it to the um, description bar. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.